My name is Moses, Moses Adeyemi. Um, I'm the founder of the Silver Line program, um, which I use a combination of mental and physical training to improve individuals' well-being. Today is full body, as I'm sure again you're aware. I'm gonna take it easy. Um, today I'm gonna focus on endurance, just to see, I, I, I guess, if you guys can keep up with me. Just try and keep up, remember, today's about that endurance. Hi, I'm Sandy Abdurrahman. And I'm Ty Griffiana. And we are the co-creative executive director of SCAPE. SCAPE was set up to give young people an opportunity that we didn't have while growing up by giving them a space where they can question and learn about issues they care about the most. We use art as a method to get young people to engage with human rights issues because it's the best way to interact. My name is JR. I am the founder of Salute the Charity and we teach young people about the music industry. Currently at the moment, we've got a creative writing program online where um, with two groups, six to 10 and 11 to 16 year olds are able to learn about short fiction and poetry. You ready for action? Also messy, it's fat and eats everything and it lives on the farm. Pink is a pink. Is it a pink, Monet? Yeah. yeah. I'm Shanae Karim. I'm 19 and I'm a youth activist. I'm a founder of Your Life, More Life, and I'm from Newham. Diaries of a Visionary is a series. It's a series of diary calls connecting young people, young people that have dreams to make change in their communities or the world, um, and to connect them with older people that have come before them, that have used their lived experiences to create and pioneer change. You had one main piece of advice for the young people on the call that aspire to have their own organisation or their own project, their own um, campaign, what would that be? I would definitely say start with what you have. My name is Simone. I have set up a cleaning company, which is socially conscious. My mission is to get mums working, um, especially into flexible work as well. That's something I've always struggled with being a, a mum, a single-handed mum with two boys. The funding has helped me a lot. Um, you know, in terms of getting my business cards done, I wouldn't necessarily have the money for. My name is Sanyu and I'm the founder of UCAN. UCAN is a social business that aims to support young carers within London. Hey everyone, welcome <laughs> to the final UCAN session. Um, this is just pretty much just going to be us just wrapping up the when you balance in school and doing responsibilities and is it like trying to act normal and trying to be like a normal young person when you've got like a lot of things in the back of your mind about what's going on at home? And, yeah. Yeah. My name is Sandro and I am the founder of ABA Anxiety Bait Away. My mission right now is to ease anxiety and worry from people during this time of COVID-19 through the art of baking. I'm Sarah and Aisha and I'm in art. Now your butter is melted, you want to put both the sugars in. So that's your white sugar, granulated, and your soft brown sugar. So the Sarah, you're using a hand whisk like me, so we get really tough at the flower stage, okay? So you might want to lift your bowl just to support yourself a little bit more. My name's Shaz and I'm the founder of The Film Bunch. At The Film Bunch we run events to showcase short films from all over the world and our mission is to improve access to deaf and hard of hearing people. Hello, my name is Aisha Chowdhury and the short film that I will be showing you today is called Sleepless Something. It is a short film about the experience of lip reading.